Hello and welcome back to Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back. It was going to part 10. We'll finish up Split 4 th uh, this part. And maybe even start a bit of Split 5. Well, there's the last level right there. Crash can't wait to get it on. <laughs> Alright, now we're finally going into behaving. And behaving has the purple gem in it. Um, word of advice. After you get Yay. the pur after you get the purple gem, kill yourself. As in in real life. Do not do <laughs> not bother not to continue playing behaving after you get the purple gem. It's the only reason to actually go in uh, go into this level. And the crystal. Mm. No, the crystal's not actually important. Time. I mean, it's a, important for story, but it's not gods. important for your sanity. Yeah. It's important for your sense of creativity and perception skills. A perceptive player would realize that something is amiss in this level. <laughs> I tried to slide under that, and it didn't work. Oh, poor Gerda. I, I... That, that too, was a thing. Bees. Because in this level, it throws multiple bees at you. Yes, and you can actually still Here uh, they defeat come. the bees if you, uh, if you time your spin appropriately. However, I can't do that on a regular basis, so... <laughs> too late. No, too late. Survive the bees! Oh, mm, crash, crash is feeling a little stings. swollen. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, every, everybody's kind of allergic to bee stings, but people can also can be deathly allergic to bee stings. Apparently, Crash is deathly allergic. <laughs> uh, Crash is not deathly allergic to bee stings. He's just deathly, al <laughs> deathly allergic to damage in general. <laughs> He's allergic to pain. <laughs> I mean, in a way, kind of, I think, because I think the body releases histamine, you know, in order to combat swelling or whatever, or is it the histamine that causes swelling? Um, oh, God, I, I do not know. I do not have a medical, I do not have any significant amount of medical, uh, uh medical, uh, practice uh, in, in my tenure. Oh. Mm. Oh. Mm. Excuse I me, I was not I a way you had a degree in medicine. Games. Are you a doctor? <laughs> Ah, oh, yes, the staircase. I discovered this by accident. Apparently, Those nitro I'm, I'm crates are not that. bouncing. Oh, that's right, because that is the warp to get to you into... Is it Road to Ruin or Ruination? I think it's Road to Ruin. No, that's the... That's the purple gem path. Oh, okay, so I skipped the purple gem pathway. All right. Fuck the you, purple you gem. You skipped the purple gem it. path. You, you, have, you have effectively ruined yourself on all chances of getting all the color gems. You've done it. Well, we didn't go get the blue gem either, so, yeah. Now, uh, fuck the purple gem. Nah. <laughs> the purple gem pathway is, in fact, gem. the hardest blue part gem's of feeling downright neglected. I mean, the hardest normal okay. part of Split 4. Then go up. Getting, getting everything in Cold Heart Trash <laughs> is harder than the purple gem pathway, but the purple gem pathway will eat more lives. So, there. Right, you're better off just you're better off just killing Crash, getting out of the pathway, and then you get to keep the purple gem. Not to mention that there are no boxes on the purple gem pathway. Right. There's there's literally no point in finishing it. <laughs> I tried to push forward, and then Crash just Sorry. decided to fade through the crates. Not the nitro crates, no. I'm not, just the, I'm not the laughing at. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you, Gerda. I'm laughing with you. That was quite funny. Well, you need to remember that uh, Pascal is a... not laughing here because he did all of the uh, he did all of the all of the splits in uh, in one in one sitting. So he is uh, he is exhausted from this <laughs> by now. But it's the bonus room. Yeah, the bonus room is not you know, it's a decent bonus room, sure, but it's not really the best of the bonus rooms. Watch out for Elmer Dunn! <laughs> oh, he's trying to get you. He's yeah, but see you. there, we oh. actually managed to kill all the bees mm. in that swarm. Yeah. Just not all at once. If you kill all the they bees march. at once in a swarm, you actually, um, with, yeah. uh, with a normal spin, you actually get a small reward for it. I think you get, like, 20 a uh, Wumpa Fruit or something. 
No, stay, stay. <laughs> Get underground. There, go. Evil beast. And we got the box gem. Booyah. Don't get. Woo, yeah. Hell yes. We didn't get the purple gem, but we got the box gem. That's that's enough of a victory for me. They gotta they gotta do more illusory. I, I wish they did more illusory tricks like that. Like the the, because you you're not supposed to touch the nitro boxes, so you're supposed to see something that is amiss. <laughs> All right, hey Cortex. But is that but it? Oh no, what does confusing man have to say now? We've seen Brio once. No, he wasn't. Okay, we can do that. This is the boss fight that I had the second most amount of trouble with. Don't have the grand Engine's not that bad. No, it's just a really not long boss hard. fight. Uh, I just really sucked at it. Please note that she's in a mech on, uh, outside of our platform range, so we couldn't give her the crystals to her anyway. And now for a total shifting gameplay. That that's that. That en engine is a dude. I'm pretty sure. I don't care. Engine can be a chick if he wants. <laughs> He's neither man nor woman. He's a freak. <laughs> what kind of Frankenstein's rocket ship. <laughs> All right, one cannon down. Why you are you out of? Float Fucking over here so I can shoot your cannon. Insane trilogy. In Insane Trilogy, Crash actually has a throwing peach animation. Because in this game, it looks like those Wumpa Fruit are just fucking They're popping flying out, out of his, his head. Nose. <laughs> out of his nose. He has to sneeze. Now, it's this particular part of the fight that, that, uh, that, that, was I, not... that is bullshit to me because trying to trying to line up Crash to actually hit the missile launchers, it, it doesn't work, man. You have to... You, you have to um, be in position ahead of him because he's moving so fast. But even when I am in position ahead of him, I barely get the hit... Uh, get the hits off, usually. Well, that was, that was a good run. You hit him twice in a row. All right, now we're getting to where this is the most difficult part of the boss fight right here is escaping this particular nasty attack. Uh, honestly, no, because sideways you, rocket. You usually yeah. have you usually have enough leeway to uh, to actually see where uh, where it's coming from. Just gotta be ready for it because rocket moves fast. So too does big green laser. You usually can get off one or two hits that here. That killed I, me I'm the a, very uh, first time I, I saw that. I usually get off zero or one hits because I'm too much of a coward to actually uh, sit here for it. One one hit is enough. You only you only have to hit him like three more times and then he's dead. And then he changes. Where his is he going to me. appear? He appeared over there. Bastard. All right, maybe he'll do. Nope. Okay, now we gotta wait for the other platform to come back up because it's all time. And then he hit me. Go up, uh, 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 ho oh, oh. Yeah, about that. Now you have to redo the entire boss fight. Yep. And Crash can't believe this shit. <laughs> Neither can pass Gurdet. Honestly, there should have been a checkpoint after probably the first missile launcher. Man, this ain't no bed of chaos, Dark Souls shit. You can't put checkpoints on bosses. Uh, only because it's pre-2000. Mm, evil clanking sound. Dun, 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 dun. Mm. So dun, what dun, is dun, new dun. in the world of Cloud? Dun, 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 dun. 
<sighs> well, I've been a helpful big brother these past couple days because my driveway sucks a big one during the winter time, especially when it's freezing rain, freezing everything, making things all slippy slidey, basically negating your two wheel drive and laughing at you. And I shot a freaking 208 while bowling last night. Ooh. And uh, I know that 208 yeah. is about two thirds of the, of the best score you can usually get, right? Set seven ten about seven tenths actually. Ah, okay. Um so yeah, I shot a I shot a four in a row and then after my four in a row I didn't strike for the rest of the game, but I did clear a lot of frames in order to get the two hundred. Okay. Pretty fucking sweet. That that was the best game I played in a long time. My buddy was pretty proud. I usually am lucky to score uh, to score one hundred on bowling. I am not good at bowling. And that's good. Score a hundred. Uh, 100 is a good benchmark. It means that you don't royally suck. Oh, I do royally suck at bowling. I just don't. I just don't royally suck enough to get constant well, I mean, gutter balls. Right. Okay. Now, Gerdet is going to use all of his experience, skills, Three. memory, in order to survive green laser. Guacamole machine. Here it comes. D not that side, god damn it. Four. And five. It's five, I think. I think five is. Oh, fuck you, engine. Engine is uh, trapped outside through, the airlock. I think we go through the that's, cutscene that's for Osprey 5. Mm, yep, alright. Uh, right, in Cortex, Insane Trilogy, engine, engine did not get trapped outside the airlock. What is your problem, Bandicoot? I will not ask you again to bring me the crystals. Obtain the remaining five crystals, Crash, and bring them to me. We can do that in the next part.